Imagine someone that works 24/7 for you, someone that takes your order, obeys you, and work for you absolutely for free. I am not talking about your younger sibling. I am talking about AI. Hi there, welcome back to our UX Design Foundation course. My name is Mayur Karodia. I am the founder and CEO at Dropout Academy and your instructor for the course. This is session five, and in this session, we'll talk about a really interesting topic, which is AI in UX design. So let's get started. What we have understood so far is that unlike a lot of technologies like NFT and Metaverse, AI is not just a hype. In fact, it's very much there. From Netflix recommendations to self-driving cars, AI is rapidly evolving. So how can UX designers ride on the AI wave without the fear of losing on their jobs with respect to ux ui designing a lot of the tasks that we can do can be automated with the help of ai for example researching a lot of data or uh, analyzing a lot of data coming up with a lot of ideas quickly or doing competitive analysis learning what's going on in the market a lot of these things can be done very quickly nowadays thanks to ai as ux ui designer we can automate a lot of our day to day tasks with the help of ai for example researching or analyzing data going through a lot of articles and that would leave us with more time to do things that are really important to us as designers for example talking to the customers coming up with really complex designs quickly so let's try to understand how can we use ai in our design process the first use case is research ai can help you browse through a lot of research data and give you a really concise actionable summary of the data let's understand with an example let's say you have to design a dating app for older singles in india now in order to understand this problem you'll have to go through a lot Lot of articles to understand what is the dating scene in India for older singles right now. How many older singles are there? You know what is the statistics and all of those things. So instead of going through a lot of these articles yourself, you can just ask Chat GPT to do all of that research for you and give you like a really quick bullet point actionable summary for you. Let's understand with an example. Okay, so what you do is basically you go to Chat GPT and write down prompts. Right. So in our case for research, what we write is, uh, I am a UX designer. Who's designing a dating app for uh, older Indians, age forty plus? Do secondary research for me. Summarize the findings in bullet points. I will just enter. And it gives us all these summary, all these uh, insights that it has gotten. Wonderful! So it gives us insights like uh, our demographics. Uh, you know what is the current trend in people above the age of forty in terms of dating? Uh, how does the different factors uh, affect the dating scenario in India? And a lot of other things, technological adoption, uh, technological adoption, like uh, what kind of technologies do older people prefer? Uh, how can we build a technology, or how should our app or product is going to be looking like for them? Unique needs and preferences. So it has basically, if you can look at it, it has given me really good insights and inferences uh, when it comes to designing for for these these user set, right? And that is how basically Chat GPT can help you summarize a lot of research findings, which is amazing. Another great application of AI in UX design is drafting questions for your user surveys. When you do user research, you often float user surveys to get a lot of quantitative data from your users. Now earlier or so far, we had to draft these survey questions like what should we be asking in the surveys? We had to do that ourselves. But again, with the help of AI, now you can automatically create the surveys. You just have to type in your problem statement and what is the intent of the survey and it automatically generates the entire survey questionnaire for you. How do you do that? There's a great tool called SurveyMonkey. Now they have an AI inbuilt feature with the help of their AI survey generator you can now create entire surveys in just couple of seconds let's see how it works okay so in survey monkey you see an option build with AI uh, you click on this option and basically here you can put up the prompt so for example my prompt is going to be draft a survey for user interviews with users of age 40 and above residing in india tier 1 and metro cities the survey is to understand relation ship status single the survey is to understand about the 
updating behavior of such users let's see and you just press done and apparently the ai basically drafts an entire survey for you based on the prompt that you have given hmm this is taking a, a while okay awesome so so basically if you can see it here it has generated like an entire kind of template of the survey for me where it asks about the age group country uh, sorry city if you use dating apps or not what are the main reason you want a dating app what is the potential partner uh, traits for you or geographical location for you and all of these things right so the interesting part is it has generated like an entire survey for me now i can of course make tweaks to it and make changes to it but at least it gives me like a good starting point for it so this is pretty cool another interesting use case of ai is in ideation ai or you can say chat gpt can come up with a lot of ideas for your projects or app designs you can actually generate a lot of unique and creative ideas for your products and apps using chat gpt if you again take an example of dating app for older singles what we simply have to do is just put it in chat gpt last but not the least another very interesting very helpful ai tool is a plugin called wireframe designer this plugin works directly in figma and it helps you generate instant wireframes based on your inputs use this plugin you go to plugins and look for a plugin called wireframe designer and in that we can now give it a prompt like what kind of wireframes you want to build so we write okay design the home screen of a dating app for people age 40 plus living in india and then we can also give it a more specific a uh, prompt based on whatever research we have done uh for example in the research it came that the uh app has to have features like uh privacy and security it has to have the verification thing and also it should cater to older age people so it should be accessible so we give all of that other uh, prompts and specific keywords and let's click on design and it's got like this really cool animation and wow uh, if you look in the background it just it just keeps designing and okay and amazing this has designed like an entire wireframe for me where uh, um, you know i can see like a really good first draft um, right uh, again point to note here is that although it's not perfect but it gives you like a really good starting point so that you do not have to do any everything from scratch it already gives you built in components so that you can mix and match and use your own intelligence design intelligence and build on top of it so it's a really good uh, starting point that ai has given you as you can see there are a lot of powerful ai tools and technology that can assist you and your work as a ux designer remember the key is not to learn every ai tool available on the planet but rather to find the use case for you and then learn the right tool for that use case let's say you are preparing a dish and for that you have to chop onions now are you going to go to the market and find every knife that's available to chop those onions or you would first find what kind of knife would be most suitable for the job and just pick that knife up similarly in ux design we work in the reverse way we first figure out what is the use case what is the application we have at hand what is the problem we have to solve and then find the appropriate tool to solve that problem So a key takeaway is you have to find out what are the repetitive or mundane tasks that are taking up the a lot of your time as UX designer, and then you have to find out tools available on the internet or available right now which can automate those tasks for you. And that is how you smartly use AI to make your work more smarter and faster. So that's pretty much about the session, guys. I hope this session has opened up the gateway to AI in your lives and in your work. The next session is pretty important, guys, because that is going to be the final session for the course. And in that session, I'll tell you what it takes to become a job ready UX. designer i'll tell you what are some practical ways using which you can get your first job as a ux designer so see you in the next session guys bye